Okay. <clears throat> that was a good one. All right. All right. I the time. Hi, Neil. Welcome back. Hi. How has the past week been for you? Um, not bad. Um, <clears throat> I think last time it was nice to, like, actually be able to talk about stuff. So, it was... I've definitely been thinking about a lot of the things that we talked about, like, about school. And so it was, a, it was different after last time. So, something's working. I guess. Um, it was just, it was kind of a normal week. I was still school almost every day. I didn't, there were some days I just, I didn't want to go, but, so I didn't. Other than that, it was pretty, school days were normal, homework is normal, no tests or anything, because usually those kind of make me freak out a little bit, but mm -hmm. no, as a whole, I guess it was okay when I went. Okay. Well, what was going on in those missed days? I don't know, I just, I really think about certain things and I didn't, I just, would rather, I didn't want to deal with it, so I decided just to stay home and not really worry about what was bugging me. So tell me more about that worry. I don't know, I'm just, I've been thinking about certain things that, like I, about myself that I kind of, you know, when I think about them, it makes me nervous, and I'm like, what if, and, and you know, I'm, I don't know, I just, I'd rather just avoid it and not say anything at school. Okay, so you're, you're nervous about something that you've got going on inside? Yeah, <clears throat> it's about right. Okay. Is it something that you might want to talk about in this atmosphere? Between you and I? I mean, yeah, I guess. I, I mean, I've, nev I've never told anybody this, so it's like weird to even think about saying it. Sure. But I, I'm not, when I think about school and I think about like the people I hang out with, like all my friends are girls and I like hanging out with girls and it's super fun and I feel like we get along better and it's, I can like relate to them more, just, but I'm not like really attracted to them mm -hmm. at all. I kind of, I just don't look at them in that way. So, so yeah, I think I'm just not, yeah, I guess same. I'm trying to get at it's just that like I may nope I'm gay and I'm not attracted to women at all I just I'm much more attracted to men and it just yeah tell me about some of the feelings <laughs> that you have going on right now you just took a Audible breath. I know, I just, it's, it's weird, <laughs> I've, like, I've, I've never said that before, and it's like, I, it's just so, re I don't know, I'm like happy and relieved to finally say the words, I guess, like, I feel comfortable enough to say it here, but, mm -hmm. like, that's kind of what goes through my head when I, like, don't go to school, because, like, I, w I won't, that is not something that I would do like at school or say or bring up anywhere near school that's just not that's not an option like I, I no well I want to thank you for sharing that with me first of all um I can see that it took a little courage to get it out yeah, a little bit um mm -hmm. and then you took that big breath afterwards um so it looked like it felt good to kind of get it out mm -hmm. Um, so you're saying it wouldn't be the same with some people at school? What do you think that might feel like? I... I can't even imagine it. I, it would not go well. I mean, I already get picked on enough as it is by certain people, so I feel like if that were to be known, it would just make things worse. Like, like I want, I want to. I think my friends would be okay with it. Like, I... I mean, this feels good to like be able to say it, and I want people to know. But there, like, at the same time, I just there's no, 
no way. It, it would just be bad. Like, it, it's scary. Scary? So it, when you say bad, what do you think, what do you think some of the outcome might be? I mean, if, I don't know if, like, teachers would look at me differently, because, like, or it's a smaller school, so, like, word gets around. If it were public knowledge, everyone would pretty much know. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want them, I feel like they would treat me differently, like, I feel like that bullying would just get worse. Because mm -hmm. now they'd have almost, they'd have, like, a, like, a reason to, like, be worse than they are. And I just, I feel just like I worry about people, like, looking at me differently because of that, like, because they know. Hmm. Okay. So, you said that some of your friends, it might feel good to tell some of them. Mm -hmm. Though, you I think, so? I think so, yeah. Okay. Okay. So you think maybe that kind of relieving feeling might not just be between us, it might happen again? I would, I would hope so. Yeah. I think it could. Okay. But okay. yet I still... I don't know, I just, there's still that, I don't know if I should or not, or like, if I, like, if I do this, if I don't this, like, what I, there's like a back and forth, I don't know what to do with that. Sure. So maybe, maybe we could talk through that a little bit. Um, let's talk about what it might be like if you keep on without saying anything. What might that feel like? I mean, I guess it wouldn't be much different than it is now, because no one else knows, so I, I guess it would be pretty much the same, but then I wouldn't, I guess I wouldn't get that fe this feeling, mm -hmm. so it would, yeah, it'd be, it'd be similar, but I, I guess now that I feel this way, it's like, well, where, I'd want that more, okay. but I wouldn't, I wouldn't have that if I don't say it to some people. And wh where is it now, you say it? It would be kind of the way it is now so you know kind of hiding this piece of yourself how does that feel to you right now to not be able to say that now that I've felt this relief it it sucks I mean having to like lie all the time and like not be completely myself it's like it's such a it feels like it's such a big part of me now that to have to like lie about it every day like the actual motions in my day wouldn't change, but mm -hmm. I feel like I'd always be thinking about it now. I'd be thinking about like the good feeling that I have, but like not being able to get that at school because I, w I wouldn't want people to know. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of one side of it. Now let's just kind of explore what some of the feelings might be like say like you said before if everyone knew what are what are some of the things that you would be dealing with then I think well I, I would definitely be like nervous about like what people would think mm -hmm. um, like I, mean, I guess everyone is kind of a scary thought to me because it's like so many people at once mm -hmm. and a lot of different like opinions and reactions so like I definitely I guess if we're looking at the other side, it wouldn't necessarily be everybody. I know that's not, that's terrifying to me. Like, I, like just the idea of so many people, like, I'd rather, that kind of freaks me out. But mm -hmm. even if it was, like, a hand, like a handful or, like, my closer friends, like, I feel like that's enough, maybe for now. Like, because they're already my friends, and I guess out of the school itself, that would be, like, a group that I think it would be easier because they already know me and they already kind of understand where I'm coming from maybe sure so I mean there are people in my group of friends that are gay so it's like I guess I have that pe other people there too so it could be okay I guess but the everybody think is I think that that's a little much okay sure so maybe it would be a little overwhelming to just make an announcement <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Like, and it definitely, I mean, it's hard enough sitting here saying the words. I can't even imagine if I had to, like, if I was telling a bunch of people or, that's another thing, I guess, is if I told one person, like, who are they going to tell? Like, I don't, mm -hmm. 
if all of a sudden that just spreads, I could be in like an everybody situation, and that would that would freak me out even more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, so I, like I kind of I don't know. I guess I could tell certain people, but I'd want, I'd be careful about it. Mm -hmm. And um, so right now, um, after just kind of having told me this. Um, what do you think the next week for you is going to look like? Do you think anything will change as far as how you're feeling? I think I may. Now that I like have this kind of urge to like tell close, close friends, like I think it'll be interesting um, telling people. Like school will be weird because it's, now I feel like it might be a little like who's gonna know or is, can it can people tell like is, so mm -hmm. I don't know I'm, I'm a little nervous about it but I'm kind of looking forward to it like being able to say that and tell people that and kind of get this feeling again like that relief so sure do you feel like you um, have a little understanding of who you are inside I guess I never really thought about that. Cause Cause like it, you, I talk, I think about a lot of uh, like other people and like their yeah. reactions and stuff, but I never really. I guess for me, it feels better because now I'm able to like I said it and like I I feel it myself. So I think I'll feel a little better about it, but. So that's kind of what I'm getting is that we. We started talking about how you were feeling inside, but then the whole rest was worrying about what everyone else is going to think and respond. So maybe for now we can really try and focus on what it is that you are feeling so that when you're telling them you can be sure of, you know, the point that you're trying to get across. So maybe that's something we can explore in the future too. Definitely. It's who you are. Yeah. I think I'd be... We could try that. Okay. Great.